G'day friends and welcome to my channel. It's Vicky Wright here. Um, today I thought I would share with you um, something different in the way of a folio album. Just bear with me, I'm just going to fix this up first before we go any further. Um, hopefully I'm not chopping any of that off. So let's just see how that is. That might be a bit better. Okay. Is that straight? Oh, have I got that crooked? I may have made it worse. Excuse me. Yep, I've made it worse. I will get it right one day. Okay. All right. That is really crooked now, isn't it? Oh, that's a bit better. Okie dokie. So, as I mentioned, we're going to do a folio album tonight, or today, um, using some of the designer series paper that is on sale or 15% off as from today, the 6th of August. Um, all the papers that um, have the 15% off are available in the annual catalogue. There's no specialty paper, it's just the designer series paper and only from the catalogue. So this for, for today, we're going to be using the Full of Life 6x6 um, Designer Series Pack, okay? And this is what we're going to be creating, except I've made it shorter because I wanted to use the 6x6. This one is using the Country Woods Designer Series Paper, and I've teamed it up with the now retired Waves of Inspiration, is it? The stamp set um, and, and dies. So it's got a belly band. I put a few little flags there. Opens up like this. This is being cut, die cut with um, the dies that match the stamp set and it's got a little journaling or photo area that opens up and you can put your photos in landscape or portrait okay and then flick it over Oops, and you can also do that side as well. Okay, and then there's room for a six, a four by six photo as well, and you could also put one on the back. So there's lots of room in here to do um, to hold photos. Then on this side, all I've done is uh, put more paper onto the front. I've scored down the side, stamped this little fella, die cut it and stuck it on with a few um, dimensionals. And then of course open it up and then you can add a couple of more photos there. If you wanted to, you could also put photos on the front instead of all this, okay? I haven't used much, um, many images or anything because they take up room and I wanted it for um, photos. Okie dokie, so we'll just put this aside and we'll bring in our, all our kit. Now I have pre-cut everything. And all we're gonna do now is score it and put it together. And fingers crossed that it all goes, <coughs> all goes well, right? Eh? So I'm going to use our uh, Simply Scored scoring tool 
and I'm gonna score along the long side at one. Now all the measurements will be below and if you're a subscriber one and a quarter I think that's right um, I think this is right let's see six and a half six and a half And if you're, um, if you're on my newsletter, you will get this in your, news, in your newsletter as well. So be sure to pop on and subscribe to that to get this as well. You'll get the PDF tutorial with the link to this video. And that link is below as well. So we're just going to score along this. I burnish along these screw lines so that they're nice and sharp and crisp. Looks longer than six. Making sure when you burnish along these lines, very important that um, you actually match everything up. And you do make um, burnish straight, otherwise your whole folio is going to be out of whack. Okay, so that's done. So that should fit in just nicely. Let's test this out, eh? I always like to test everything out before I go ahead, just so I know I'm doing it right. It's not much shorter actually, it's probably about an inch shorter. And that's it. Okay, so let's bring in our, all our bits and bobs. Now, I've only picked a couple of patterns um, for this folio because I wanted to sort of keep it simple and straight. Easy, easy. And we've got, I'm using basic black for our layers. So these should fit on here like that with a nice border around them all. Just like that. And it should fit all of them. So let's just test all these first. As I said, I like to test them all out to make sure that everything's all okay. I might actually chop a fraction of the sides. Bring in our paper trimmer. I just want to make um, whoops. just going to do it of a probably about 116 132 so when I do um, scrapbooking or mini albums or things like that I tend to whoops I tend to talk in inches only okay I don't do centimeters because I refer to the photos as say four by six or three by twos or two by three or whatever, I do the rest in centimeters, I mean inches as well. So 
I'm just going to think about that. We've got this pattern or that pattern and I'm going to use that pattern. And we're going to do that on the inside. So all we're going to do... Now my glue won't come out. Whoops, I knew that would happen. We're just going to put this piece onto here. That's better. I like that better now. Okay. That's one done. Making sure that it's all nice and straight. That's two done. We might use this side, I think, just for something different. We're going to the opposite side to what I was going to use, but too late now, eh? And that's nice and straight. This, this pattern does my head in, actually. I think that's why I was going to go with this side, but yeah, it... Dust my, dust my head in. Okay. Okie dokie. Then we've got two narrow pieces of um, basic black. They're the same size as well. And we've got two are pieces of the DSP and we are going to stick these two pieces to our basic black. So we'll do all our gluing and layering now and then what we can do is just put everything together. Now, when I saw this paper, I wasn't a fan, but since I've bought it, I love it. Bold and bright colours in it are really different to what I'm used to. Now, I know I've used the opposite sides, but I've done that on purpose. You'll see why shortly. Then we've got another piece of um, DSP, and I should have yep, a piece of basic black. No, oh, that doesn't go, does it? That's not, that doesn't work. Okay, so let's see if we can, um, this might be it here. That's it. So these two are going to go on there like that. Okay. And hopefully, that pattern will fit in. If it doesn't fit in, we'll just change the pattern. Just going to take that down a little bit so that there's a nice black border showing all the way around. And that is all our gluing. I'm missing two bits. There they are. OK, 
Okay, so we'll bring in our folio. And I think, oh, that dust my eyes in. We'll put these two on the outside, hey? Eh? So we can open this up because there's the same distance. On both panels. Okay. It's quite an easy basic um, folio and it's one, if you've never done them before, it's a good one to start off with. When we put these down, we want to make sure that all this lines up right across the top and the bottom. And while we're here, we're going to do this strip as well. Now, you could have added um, magnets if you wanted to, but you would add them before you added this strip so you would add a couple down here and you would have done the same down here but add it before you add your layers now I'm going to go this way I think and again we're matching up the top and the bottom okay and that is that done look at that how easy is that then we're going to do our inside. So we'll start off that one. This doesn't take long to put together. The, the longest part is probably adhering all your layers and probably actually cutting your layers and adhering them together, gluing them together. And you could do make a number of these in different lengths to suit whatever papers you have in your stash. But get those papers out while there's a 15% discount. Because you know why. You can then turn around and buy more. And then we're going to use this strip down this side. Whoops. Whoops, it is. Wow. And matching up the top and bottom once again. Look at that. Looks like the ocean, doesn't it? Okay, so that's done. Then this is our little pocket, this bit. So this will match in perfectly, I think. Okay, so this is our pocket. So what we're going to do is stick this on here like that. Okay, which means we're just going to add a, the tiniest little bit of glue down the sides, both sides, and along the bottom. Just one single line. Now 
making sure it all matches in along the bottom and the sides and that's perfect I always press down along that glue line with my fingers and then I'll bring in a bone folder and then press down that's just moved at the bottom there okay. now if you wanted to you could have punched a little hole, um, half a circle out here, or a shape, but I've just kept, I'm happy with it just like that. Okay, then what we're going to do is create our belly band. Now this is the part that I don't like doing. I'm not very good at it. So what we're going to do is making sure that our sides are standing upright, you don't want one side like that and one side, well, you don't want either side off centre. You want them nice and straight like that. And we're just going to wrap this bit around. It's bottom there. And all I do is I just very gently mould the cardstock. I am using thick basic white. To the sides just like that okay not too tight because you still want that you still want to be able to slip this belly band on and off and just like that and my sides are upright little soldiers standing up right there okay and then if you wanted to you could then fold these over and burnish along that line with your with your um, bone folder and again to this one making sure you are burnishing them nice and straight so these two this panel has to line up nicely along those, those panels together like that then you can do the same for this side And once more, just like that. And then what I do is I bring in my folio. And I just make sure that it is actually going to fit. And there's enough room either side to allow it to slide on and off okay then I will add a little bit of glue I might add a little bit of glue to this side eh whoops I might put this on and that looks pretty good to me making sure your sides are still standing upright there you go and just go over that a little bit with your bone folder and then 
we can slide this off just like that so what we're going to do now is we're going to add a little bit of black across here so this is where's my ruler i do have a ruler here i've got centimeters here but i don't want to work in the centimeters i want to work in the inches so if we chop this off at about five to begin with, we should be right, hopefully. Look at that. Then we're going to grab a piece of DSP and I think we might go for this one and I'm just going to grab I mean um, layer it crossways eh? just gives it a little bit more interest so we want um, 4 and 7 eighths and I think that black piece about three quarters so we want this about seven eight three quarters not seven eighths we want this about three quarters and look at that pretty good So we'll stick this down. You could use this side if you wanted to. But as I said, it does my head in. My eyes go winky wonky. And just a little bit too long. So I'll just snip that off with our scissors, eh? And we're just going to put that onto our, the front of our belly band. You could do two pieces, separate pieces, and put one on the front, one on the front, and one on the back. But we're just going to keep it like this. Okay, so then what we're going to do is, I have a piece of basic black, we go, I'm going to make that smaller actually, because I, I want to make it so that um, you can see a little bit more of the And we can just adjust out. I need a new blade. I keep forgetting to order one. Um, we can always adjust our photos to fit our mats. Okay, so now I'm going to decorate all this um, off camera and I will post a finished photo of it on my blog and I will have the link below. Um, I'm just trying to straighten these edges. I'll have a link below to my blog so that you can actually see the finished product. So that will eventually go like that. And then we will have 
Um, well two photos in this area here so that one there will go there like that and you can put two photos on it one here and one here and that will just slip in there nicely like that that will go like that and this one will slot in there again as well and that will be our folio you could actually um, no, we'll keep it like that. Okay. So then to close it up, all you're going to do, did I do, no. Now, if you wanted to, you could add a bit of DSP right down these um, scored lines here, panels. But I'm leaving them blank because they're just that little bit too thin for me to be cutting. And then we will put our belly band on like that. And that is our folio. And this is the original one. I'll just put this on. And that's the two folios. So that's what I did originally. And that's what we've just done tonight. And as I mentioned, um, the finished folio, will I will post photos on my blog. And just click on the link below to check them out. So while we're here, what I want to also let you know is um, many album class opens today with an early bird registration and this is the album we'll be creating won't be these papers but it will be other papers but this will just show you two different looks on the photo on the albums okay I'll just quickly take you there's lots of little nooks and crannies there so um, if you're interested in, in this class, this is a 4x6 album. It's a great album actually. Holds probably about 30 photos, um, all different sizes, and a great present. I will have um, the link below so in the description box, so be sure to check on that click on that as well to um, purchase the class okay thanks so much for joining me i really really appreciate it and we'll see you next time okay thanks a lot see ya hooray